Okay. Ooh. Okay, welcome back. Okay, what we're going to do now is um, animate the UVs so that they run over more than 24 frames we've got here. And we're just going to use um, the graph editor to uh, create um, a um, uh, infinite, a, a kind of infinite kind of loop going on. So let's just put in here 60 frames and put in here 60 there. So now if we run the movie, if we look, you'll see it gets to 24 and it will stop. Oh, we want it to run, we want it to cycle through here. Pretty easy to do. We need to first of all select the object, then we need to go and select the curve for that object for the texture. So I'm going to go into my uh, rendering and hypershade window where you get to all the nodes. I'm now going to find the water roll node and I'm going to find the connection loops. Now the one we're looking at is this place uh, 2D texture. Uh, it's got like little curves. Click on that once so that it will bec become active within the graph header editor. I go to windows, go to animation and then go down to graph editor and click the 2D texture in there and you'll see that there it is. So what we need to do is go up to keys and when we go post infinite and linear so it will just carry on and on and on. Close that down, close that down, now we will play the animation and you will see that it will carry on through all of them and it will carry on forever so however long your frame, frame rate is. Um, so you've got to remember that um, you know if you're looping it if you make sure that you loop it at um, so you're rendering out because uh, we know at the moment that uh, 25 24 frames there is going to uh, then loop on the 26 frames so if you were going to output this you would maybe select 48 and it would be in exactly the same position so that's for that right okay now we're going to um, so that's that done now we're going to create the particle. So we're going to go to particle, create end particles, and I'm going to pick cloud here. Then I'm going to go down to create particles, and I'm going to do a create an emitter. So if we play it, we can see that nothing's happened. Let's do that again. Create an emitter. grab this little emitter and move him into a position down here down here and basically you can go in here and customize these to suit your needs so we've got two emitters going here So there we go, and uh, if I output this, you might want to shove a few more in there. Uh, there you can see you've got your emitter cloud. So I would say go in here with the uh, cloud selected and play around with the um, all the settings within the particle. So the emitter type, the nucleus, um, the end particle itself go and play around with those shapes and those colors and you should get the effect that you want okay that's it